When I first met Gloria, she was wrapped in a piece of material that was um, bloodstained. And when we unwrapped that, you could see the, the brutality of her injuries. Gloria uh, came in in the summer of 2019. Uh, she was brought in by a good Samaritan who had found her by the side of the road. She had been brutally misfigured by some unknown person who cut parts of both ears off. Um, she was very shy when she first came in, but she was always really good for her treatment and her, her care and her bandage changes. And after a few days, we were able to get enough healthy tissue there and things started to heal. And so we sent her down to the Animal Medical Center of America, America where the surgeons there performed uh, a wonderful job of reconstructing both ears. We did everything we could to go and get the junk out of there that was uh, affecting her. I was able to minimize any tension on those sutures, which just, that helped allow it to heal. Um, using the laser therapy and being able to incorporate that in, it was really a team effort by everybody coming together for this puppy to help her and hopefully set her up for a long future in a new home. I think the most rewarding part about owning a dog is her loyalty and they love you unconditionally. And I think they teach you things. I think they teach you how to be compassionate and how to love. <laughs> Gloria is the funniest dog ever. Uh, and she's also a cuddler. She just wants to be with you 24 seven. I'm sitting on the couch, she is laying right next to me. I was browsing Facebook one evening and saw Gloria's story on a post from the Humane Society. And I just kind of followed the story the whole time because I thought how sad for that poor dog that someone would be that cruel to her. And when I saw Gloria's story, I feel like she needed to be loved and I just thought that she would be the perfect fit for our family. Adding Gloria to the family has made my family a little more active because she has all this puppy energy and all she wants to do is just play 24-7. She's just a ball of energy. So I kind of have to adjust myself to that. And my older dog, he's kind of like, oh, I don't know about this, but he deals with her and then she has other puppy friends that come over and play and kind of wears her out and gives me a little time off. <laughs> Everyone should consider adopting a dog. It adds so much to your family, adds so much to your life. I could not imagine my household without her. She just kind of fulfilled us.